I've been doing YouTube full time for over a decade now, and I may talk to birds and, and statues of horses, but this is the weirdest, strangest apology video or whatever the hell it is that I've ever seen. And especially with what they're being accused of, I, I, let's, my dogs are killing each other downstairs. What else is new? Let's get into it. Skip it up and that up. So Colleen Ballinger, she's the person or YouTuber who is behind the character Miranda Sings. They put on way too much lipstick. It's it's. She even had like a Netflix series. It went really far. Um, it's made for kids. It's. I think I've seen a video in passing many years ago. It's. I'm a 42 year old man. It's not my kind of content. But needless to say, she's been wildly successful. Millions upon millions of subscribers. Even on her Colleen Vlogs channel, she's she's pushing close to 4 million. Well, one of the things that came out recently is that she's a groomer and was doing very, very questionable things. And that's me putting it lightly with a fan base between like 10 and 14 years old. She admitted herself that she would talk to kids even when she was like 29 years old, like 10-ish years old about her marital problems. Who does that relation? She would go into like intimate details. They're 10 years old. They're 40, like you need friends that are that, like you couldn't talk to someone in their 20s or 30s about your life problems. I have friends I could talk to about my life problems. They're my age. They're not little kids around my kid's age. You're not that much younger than me, Miranda. It just is very weird. And if you think, oh, Rich, maybe she needed to vent or said, I'm sure there's going to be like one person here that's going to defend her. Um, she sent, who is now a YouTuber who used to be a fan of hers, Adam McIntyre, her bra and underwear when he was a kid. I Could you, could you, even if I just talked like a normal conversation with a 10-year-old fan of mine, Okay, I would have my YouTube channel shut down. I would be ripped apart across the internet. It would be over for me. Absolutely over. Like, what are you doing corresponding with, even if it's just a normal conversation with underage fans of yours? What are you doing? But instead of apologizing for all of these really, really weird things that she did and Cro flat out crossing the line by sending her underwear to an underage fan. This is her response. Her holding a ukulele and saying that everything's lies. I just, Jay, just do a, do a Snyder cut of this. Is that the right thing to say? Do a, do a quick, do a synopsis of what she did. Enjoy. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you, right? Have I made some jokes in poor taste? Yes. Have I made lots of dumb mistakes? Yes. Am I sad that there are some fans who feel betrayed? Yes. But was my intention to manipulate? No. Sometimes people make mistakes simply because they made a mistake. And that mistake doesn't make them a terrible human. It just makes them a human. But what do I know? But I do feel like shit. And I would send an underage kid my bra and underwear. Like, how did her legal team, how did her legal team think this was a good idea? And there is a ton of chat evidence out there. There is a ton. It's not just hearsay. It's not just out of context messages or pictures. This is something that she's done for years. And it's, look, innocent until proven guilty. I understand. But come on. Like, say everything else with the bras with the panties all that was put aside why were you becoming friends she admitted to this it was like a close-knit family she said why were you let's just get into this um what the f is that me. now just to show you how there's a double standard between men and women because could you imagine if i said oh yeah 
uh, I apologize for this. In 2020, she apologized for sending out her bra and underwear to Adam McIntyre, who, who was a kid when she sent them out. Could, could you imagine, well, why the hell would you want it? Could you imagine if I just apologize? You know what? It's water under the bridge. Hey, guys, say it was me in 2020. Hey, guys, um, I sent an underage fan uh, my unwashed underwear. Uh, sorry about that. I hold myself accountable. We'll never do it again. It's over. That's <laughs> it. My YouTube channel would have been gone. My career would have been gone. I wouldn't even be able to get a job at Starbucks. Okay, this shows a double... I'm sorry, this is a double standard between men and women. She, because she apologizes? I didn't even know about this. This should have been, like, front-page news. That she sent a kid her bra and underwear. She sent it. <sighs> Everything about this is bizarre. The non-apology is bizarre. The, the... I apologized for this years ago when I sent out my lingerie to an underage fan. It was a mistake. I own that. Oh, do you? That's look, man, I'm all for giving people second chances. I've made mistakes with stuff in the past before too. We all have, but that's a hell of a mistake to make. That's not one you get a second chance with, but she did. And I, that bothers me too. But the bottom line with this all is, please, for the love of God, if you have kids online, you have to, have to, have to watch what they're doing. Because don't just think because it, it, it's a woman and she does this cute character. There's snakes in the grass everywhere. And there's people who have masks on that you wouldn't even know their masks. And luckily... Colleen let her mask slip so she's not allowed to hurt anybody else. Again, innocent until proven guilty, but the amount of evidence that's out there against her is pretty damning. And <laughs> don't make a video holding a ukulele, singing and saying that everyone's just hating on you and wants clout. That's not the way to handle this situation. Even if you think you were wronged, that just made her situation worse. This is Rich and Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one.